Hey, new guy, get me a cheese plate, the one with all the holes. Not that kind of cheese plate. Besides, I don't do dairy. You know, the aluminum one with all of the holes. And make it snappy with burning daylight. Now, this is a cheese plate. Welcome to this short video on the Kupo cheese plate family. Cheese plates, in essence, are a multi-purpose bracket, a solid metal plate drilled with evenly spaced holes. Most cheese plates feature industry standard sized holes, such as quarter inch and three eighth of an inch. Some cheese plates come with their holes threaded, but regardless of their dimensions, their hole size, the distribution of those holes, threaded or not, cheese plates allow you to rig anything due to their flexibility of having multiple mounting points. Kupo cheese plates are manufactured from CNC machined solid aluminum. They are 3 8 of an inch thick. They feature 3 8 inch holes evenly spaced one inch from each other, center to center, and are countersunk 82 degrees in each corner on one side. There are four sizes to choose from. 12 by 12 inches, 7.5 by 10 inches, 6 by 11.5 inches, and 5.5 by 20 inches. Let's say we want to shoot an interior car scene in studio using green screen for the window views, and we need footage from all the windows to make it appear that the car is actually driving around the city. Let's rig four cameras, each in a different orientation, so we can insert the footage of each window view later in post. We'll use a cheese plate to mount all the cameras, so we only have to rig the cheese plate to a couple of contact points with the vehicle instead of rigging the four cameras separately. For instructional purposes, we will mount the cheese plate to a couple of C-stands as we are in studio and can fit a car through the door. First, we will add a split washer to our 3 16th bolt to prevent it from loosening once tight. Since our bolts are too long, we are also going to add a few flat washers to take up the extra space. Now we will push the bolt upward through the cheese plate. Next, we will thread our mini ball head onto the bolt until snug and tighten with a wrench. Thread our action camera onto the top of the mini ball head. Repeat with the other camera and make sure that they are facing the right orientation before you secure them in place. For the DSLR and the mirrorless cameras, after we mount our ball head like we did previously, we will mount the quick release plate onto the bottom of the camera using the quarter 20 thread. Turn it clockwise until snug. Now position the quick release plate in the bottom of the camera into the quick release receiver, tighten until snug, and give a little shake to make sure it is securely mounted. Place the baby 5 8 inch receiver of our tilt bracket onto the baby pin of our C-stand. Repeat with the other C-stand. To mount our cheese plate to the C-stands, first we will add a split washer to prevent it from loosening when tightened. Place a few washers to take up the extra length of the bolt. Push our bolt downwards through the hole. Screw one of the 5 8 inch diameter round baby studs with 3 16 female thread on one side and quarter 20 female thread on the other side until snug. Add a quarter 20 3 16 double spigot to give clearance. Slide into the top baby receiver on a tilt adapter and turn the knob clockwise until snug. Repeat on the other side of the plate. While we could have easily rigged the cheese plate using only one C-stand, we are using two C-stands to mount the cheese plate because generally you want at least two points of contact to have a solid, secure rig. Now that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. When it comes to your image-making dreams and your grip equipment at Kupo, we'd like to say, never let go.